18 right now happening today, a sweet run to support teachers, which TV is a proud sponsor of the Circle City Donut Dash 5K. It starts downtown in just a few hours and raises money for teachers' treasures. News 8's Amisha Ramsey is live near Mass Ave this morning. Amisha, this is the ninth year. What can people expect? That's right. Well, good morning, Hannah. This year promised to be sweeter than years before. I mean, it's a really good event out here, especially for a good and worthy cause. And give you guys just a little bit of a background about the Circle City Donut Dash 5K is benefiting Teachers Treasures, a volunteer-based store for teachers. They offer educational supplies and materials to teachers in Marion County and the surrounding school districts who have a significant percentage in their students on free or reduced lunch programs. Now, Wish TV's very own Drew Blair will also be MC seeing the event. Runners for the race are encouraged to dress in their best donut attire. So we're going to see a lot of fun and cool things. Jax is also supplying donuts free for runners. But to learn more about it, we have Margaret Shaheen. Did I say your last name right? Best? She and it gets all sorts of pronunciations. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Margaret. So Margaret Sheen, tell us a little bit about the event and everything. You, everybody's a little bit busy and you yeah. have your cute donut headband. Well, this is the best I have for donut um, <laughs> ensemble, but you will see all through the day a lot of different fun things. So hopefully you'll get some shots of that. So, you know, this was an, an idea. We crossed uh, paths with, it's called Crossroads Events, and he knows how to do races. He's from Terre Haute and one of our employees said this would be a great idea. So eight years ago, I rolled my eyes, didn't think this would be fun. Yeah. And now it is a very recognized event. Uh, even the day after uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, hoping that people will, you know, come out. We have over 1,200 registrants, wow. um, and they get to then run the race right over here on the Near East side. It does benefit Teachers Treasures because for every dollar we raise, we're distributing $15 in school supplies. What a fun way to raise yeah, money, right? Absolutely. So uh, off they'll go up to Brookside Park. There's a donut hole eating competition yes. at the halfway mark, and then they come back. So you don't have to eat the donut holes, but uh, 350 people have signed up to do that. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this donut hole eating challenge and how can yeah. you be eligible to get a prize? Okay, so it's really based on speed, uh -huh. uh, and we do it in, I think, a few divisions based on age and so on. And so they have to pummel these uh, 12 donut holes. I've seen them dunk, dunk them in water. Uh, so God bless those folks. Uh, and so there's two different divisions in, but they do get fastest runner within the donut eating challenge. So okay. there's, there's prizes for sure. Perfect. Well, talk about having a sweet appetite. Okay, you guys, we'll have more throughout the day. I mean, this is, again, a, a very worthy cause, and we're excited. They're getting set up. So we're going to see a lot of different decorations. So just stick with us on Daybreak for more of a great, sweet race. Okay, we'll send it back to the studio. Reporting live, Amisha Ramsey for WishTV, WishTV.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Amisha, thanks so much. Uh, you know, eating donuts and running. I don't know if I could do it. I'm down for donuts, but always down for a good cause.